Indian flute, there's the same instrument as the Western flute without its keys. It is still a real woodwind instrument, being made out of bamboo, unlike the Western flute, which today, though known as a woodwind instrument, is almost always made of metal. Of late, there has been a great deal of revival of interest, particularly in the North, in the large size flute, thanks to the imagination and artistry of a great flautist, Panalal Ghosh. And it is such a flute that Chaurasia plays in this film. Hari Prasad Chaurasia is one of our most gifted young flautists, now living in Bombay, though he was born in the UP in the North and spent a good deal of his early life in Orissa. He has had several teachers, but recently his musical thinking and style have been greatly influenced by those of Annapurna Ravi Shankar, the wife of the great sitar player under whom Chaurasya has been training. Indian music is purely melodic. That is, the melodic line is absolutely self-contained. It neither needs nor implies harmony. Harmony affects the structure of melody itself and it has become almost impossible for those trained in Western music to conceive of melody without the implications, tacit or explicit, of a harmonic system. Indian melody is made up of notes which are related purely by their continuity. It's only natural, therefore, that the melodic line should be subtle, expressive, with delicate and often elaborate ornaments and grace notes. Our use of small intervals are relevant here. There is no such thing in Indian music as an exact quarter tone. But we use sharps, which are sharper than the sharps of the diatonic scale, and flats, which are flatter. The basis of such microtonal intervals are what are known as shrutis, literally, that which can be heard. such as gamak, Sando. concept. Just as in Western music you say a sonata or a work is in such and such a key, so we say a piece of music or improvisation is in such and such a raga. In this film you hear the raga desh, 
This is a delicate raga, at once sad and joyful, with a touch of romance about it.